everybody, Emily here with another episode of The Craft Corner. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me as we take a look at three new projects for you this week. One project will be a back to school project. I know it is summertime and we are enjoying our vacation. However, it is never too early to think about those teachers that are gonna be hard at work next year for our kids. So why not make them a little present while we have the time to do it and welcome them for the new school season. We will also be taking a look at a hot glue gun holder. I have a nightmare with my hot glue gun. It always falls over whenever I set it down. So I'm offering you a solution today that will hopefully remedy that and make your crafting life so much easier. Now in the making of this video, I managed to suffer a little bit of a, I wouldn't say a neck injury, but I definitely slept on my neck the wrong way a couple nights ago and it has been killing me ever since. So right when I thought I reached my ultimate limit, I decided maybe I should look into a heating pad, but who wants to spend money on a heating pad? So instead, I decided to make my very own homemade heating pad and show you how you can do that as well in a bind. Without further ado, let's dive right into our projects. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video for a very special offer only for the viewers of this YouTube channel, and that is it. Here is this episode of The Craft Corner. A book from a local library sale was ideal for this next project. Using a razor, I removed the hard cover from the spine of the book. Opening the uncovered pages to its center, I slid a template of an apple to place as my guide for cutting. I only made the template half of an apple as it will be mirrored on the other side of the book. It was marked with a sharpie and the cutting began. Once the shape of the apple was cut, I merely removed the outside area from the silhouette. This process was repeated on the other side as well. Using my trusty e-brush and a red sharpie, I airbrushed red ink on the edges of the apple, adding dimension that will be seen when the shape has been opened. Bending the spine in half, hot glue was used to secure the apple into an open position. A small twig from outside was used as the stem of the apple, and the e-brush added a little more color to the outside of the pages. Green paper from the book was used to cut the leaf, also secured with a hot glue. Once the apple was prepared, it was glued to the former cover of the book. The pages opened fully. I took time to write a kind sentiment in the space available. Voila! A precious back to school gift for the deserving teacher in your life. Does anyone else suffer this fate with their glue gun? Using Instamorph, I decided to create a little stand to keep the glue gun from tipping over. I merely molded the material around the back and front of the glue gun in a crescent shape. If you don't have Instamorph, you can use clay or anything else that will air dry and maintain its shape. The glue gun holder was made on the lid of a plastic container, allowing me to store the hot glue sticks inside for easy access. No more searching, everything is all in one place. Desperate times call for desperate measures, and luckily I had a bag of rice available for this next project. Thanks to my friend Jess, I had an amazing Star Wars sock, which I thought would be perfect to make a neck warmer. The process is simple. Using a small cup, fill the sock with dry rice until the sock is full and plump. Tie off the end to keep the rice in place. Throw the sock in the microwave for 30 seconds with a glass of water, and enjoy. Well, my crafty friends, that is it for this episode of The Craft Corner. I hate to part ways with you, but one must do what one must. Until next time, I hope you have a great week. Tune in for the next episode of The Craft Corner. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up, leave us a comment, or subscribe to this channel. And as promised earlier in the video, we have a nice little surprise for you. So stay tuned for this special deal that's only offered for you YouTube viewers and you YouTube viewers alone.